your going to draw a interior side of a room you see this room is having a length 20 feet height 10 feet and breadth 20 feet you are entering this room you see this is the top view of your room and you are standing here this is the standing here you are standing here and this is the opposite side wall these are left and right side wall you are entering this room and how will be this room appear for you we are going to draw this is the actually this is plan of the room there is a window and one door here a table is near the opposite wall this is a table now how we are going to draw this in one point perspective you see now you are standing in a ground this is the ground line first a picture plane ground like this now this from this ground line you are looking towards the inner side here your island will be 5 feet from the ground actually this height is 10 feet and now you have to find out the island where your island should be make a diagonal make to draw it two diagonals towards the two corners this diagonal cuts there this is the center of vision this is the center of vision and the center of vision is lying on the high line now you can see this is the high line and this is the center of line this is this room is parallel to your face so this one point vanishing appears and from this eye line actually this is 5 feet from the ground level so you can fix the ground level from your eye line by 5 feet downwards you measure it and you cut it now we know the height is 10 feet from the ground level this is the ground level because from island we calculate the ground level and from this ground level the height that is up to the roof the height is 10 feet now you draw a 10 feet and then join this you can see this is the roof level this is the floor level 
this is the right side wall and this is left side wall. You can see this is the opposite wall, the wall in the in front of you. Now, you see there is one window and one door. Exactly in the position of this window is in the middle of this left side wall. So. We draw a vertical line and make vanishing lines from the vanishing point to the edge of this window. Now cut it according to the measurement. For example, this window may be 6 feet or 5 feet, uh, length and height is 3 or 4 feet. And We have to make the bars, cross bars. At the same time, here is one door is also in the left side wall. Door is up to the ground level. And you make the vanishing, vanishing lines. And this height you you may know. And to the breadth, measure it, and then cut it by vertical line. Again, see this door, and if you want to draw the door closed, you have to make the frames. Frames, and this should be equally divided, and there are also benchings, bench lines. And on the vanishing line, make the same frame. Now you see this door has been drawn, and this is one window. And we find there is one table near the opposite ball. Now this table is. <coughs> Actually, uh, all the tables are up to a level of 2.5 to 3 feet height. So, this is 5 feet. So, we consider it the table top should be at a height of 3 feet. This is the table top. And now, 
to how to make the vanishing lines. Then horizontally cut it just below the eye line. This below the eye line. And this is the front side of this table. This is the back side. This back side of the table is near the wall. So you make the back legs of this table here and you have to make the vanishing lines in the front side legs. of this table is formed and four legs of the table now you see here the table to make this table with a with two drawers can see here is one table as per plan we have drawn this room in 1.40 this is the easiest method to draw the inner side of a room and if you are having one fan on the two side put it Pan. If you want to make one picture is on the wall, this is the parallel, so you can make the suppose on a picture is put on the wall to make that. And there are two lights on the roof. two lights and to make the floor with tiled pattern tiled pattern you have to draw the vanishing lines also from the vanishing point now you divide it into equal segments you see this one this one and again this one divided into equal parts now you make the vanishing lines from the vanishing point and here you have to cut this in equal segments you draw a diagonal from this edge to this edge where this diagonal meets this vanishing lines you draw the horizontal 
here this get these are the points where this punishing lines where now we can see the nearest tails are larger and the far tails are smaller and make the patterns this is how you have make these patterns and the exact correct measurements you should study in later by grid method that chapter will come after see this flooring pattern is formed this is the simple and easiest method of drawing a interior side of a room inner side of a room that is interior 